my friends uh, welcome this is market commentary with axiori and today we have two main topics uh, first one is uh, the decline on oil uh, this decline on oil is contributed to uh, two factors uh, so first one is that uh, joe biden administration is considering uh, a plan to release one million uh, barrels of uh, oil uh, per day from the strategic uh, reserves uh, so of course that would be a bigger supply which uh, implies a lower uh, price also uh, overnight um, well i'm i'm talking from a european perspective so overnight we had um, pmis from china which came worse than expected which came below this magic number of 50 uh so we may be experiencing a slowdown uh, in uh, china also we know that they have problems with COVID again and they have very strict uh, zero COVID policy uh, which uh, implies lockdowns uh, massive lockdowns of uh, whole cities which is de uh, decreasing uh, the activity and in the consequence uh, reducing the demand for uh, for oil so uh, we have a combination of of both so possibly increased uh, supply and um, and decreased uh, demand and that's why oil is uh, going uh, lower at least that's how um, analysts uh, explain the uh, this uh, recent uh, movement uh, from the technical point of view what uh, we start to see here is symmetric triangle pattern and breakout from this triangle uh, will be crucial for the long-term uh, signal uh, so breakout of uh, the subtrend line lower line of the triangle will be a sell signal and breakout of the upper line will be a signal uh, to buy uh, a lot is going on on the yen because uh, i mean this is american dollar to japanese yen on monthly chart but on a weekly chart uh, you can see very nasty uh, shooting uh, star uh, candle which is uh, showing us a rejection of a resistance mm, uh, and uh, possibly a start of a bearish trend the fact that I sh I'm showing you a monthly chart is uh, because this is not a random place where we have this bounce it's on uh, one uh, 124 uh, let's say and that was a crucial resistance since 2002 you can see 2007 2015 and uh, now and uh, now you can see on the screen a very uh, interesting article uh, about this why uh, yen uh, is weaker against dollar uh, so american economy is much stronger than uh, japanese right now uh, we are rising rates uh, in the united states of course not in uh, not in japan uh, we have uh, increased uh, risks uh, uh, in uh, japan so uh, those those factors that you can see now were influencing this uh, rise that we could see actually from the very beginning of the of the year from the first uh, january but now it has come to an end uh, those factors those fundamental factors are still on of course but at some point uh, we should get a correction and it seems that this correction is starting especially that I mean it started this week especially that we are in a very interesting place to start this correction right um, if you're looking from a distance here you can see that it's an amazing inverse head and shoulder pattern so left shoulder head and right shoulder remember this is a monthly chart so it can bring us a really huge movement so far this neckline uh, is not broken and uh, traders are holding uh, below so short-term sentiment on uh, yen on pairs with yen is negative as for now thanks very much for watching and all the best in your trading